Wisdom. Please welcome Antonio Belushi with Thank another you. great DIY project. Thank you. So this time, uh, we are focused on headboards, and there's so much you can do with headboards. You've had a lot of fun here. You've added some fabric and a lot of color. Yes, now I, I love making headboards. And you know, headboards I always think of as not a structural item in a room, not like a chair or a table. Yeah. So you can really have fun with it. And so this time I made one with sort of a center core and then I made a fitted slip cover that just fits over top. Oh, that's a smart way to do it. Think about it, you got oily hair, you can wash that. Exactly. Right, you can't do that sometimes if you have a fabric, you know. That's uh, already headboard. upholstered or something yeah. like that. Now the other great thing about a headboard like this is that you can change it up with the season. So you can make one for the mm. summer and then you can use something different for the fall or the winter. Very smart, uh, thank you Ikea for the bed. I know, really and lovely. super comfy, super comfy. Yes, yeah, and the mattresses are great, I know, because my kids have my Ikea bed. <laughs> <laughs> and I live in those bedrooms. So let's show how you made the slip cover because I think that's just a genius Perfect. idea. So you want to go to the other side? Um, sure. I'm going to start right here. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to make the form of the uh, headboard. And okay. you're going to need three things. You're going to need a masonite board. You're going to need styrofoam. Okay. Okay. And you're going to need construction adhesive. Excellent. Okay. So what you're going to do Got is you're going to cut out the masonite board in the shape that you want it and you're gonna cut two of them, one for the front and one for the back. Mm -hmm. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take styrofoam and you're gonna basically create blocking and you're gonna chop it up into pieces and you're gonna glue it to the board with the construction adhesive and you're gonna sort of fill the whole space and it's inexpensive materials to use, easy yeah. to cut so you can make it really quickly. And then the other thing is you're gonna take the other piece and you're gonna sandwich them together, again with the construction adhesive, and that's gonna give you your form. And perfect then, for a little dollhouse bed. Exactly. Well, that this would is the be perfect great. Size. This is the right. That's if I had a dog, size. this would be his headboard. Yes. And then you're going to cut dog strips bed. of the masonite board, and you're going to glue them around the sides just to make it a little bit more finished. Mm -hmm. And then when you're done, you're going to have a piece that looks like this. Perfect. And you can see I've left the bottom and the side exposed, but once you fill it in, it'll look nice and finished. Now, one thing I do want to say, if you're cutting the styrofoam, do it outside. It is a oh, big yeah. mess. Or have someone beside you with a vacuum, because it gets <laughs> everywhere and you'll never, it's all over my house. Yeah. Okay, so now, messy. the slip cover. What you want to do for the slip cover is you're going to want to lay out your fabric. Mm -hmm. And I want to say that the fabric for the headboard that I got was also from Ikea. Yeah, they've got great, uh, they've got great fabric beautiful there. Fabrics, beautiful mm -hmm. fabrics. So you're going to lay your fabric out on a flat surface, and then you're going to take your form, yeah. and you're going to place it over top of the fabric, and you're gonna trace out the outline of the headboard. Okay, yeah. and then you're gonna take it off, and you can see I added a second line. So you're gonna see the line in the center is actually the outline of the headboard, and then I added about a quarter of an inches all the way around and created another <laughs> line. And that's gonna be my line that I'm gonna sew along, which will give me the allowance to sort of put the slip cover on and off. Got it. Okay, and I added a little bit more space at the bottom for a fold and a hem. Right. And you're gonna get two of these, and you're gonna have them prepared, and then you're gonna do the sides, which is very similar. You're gonna cut strips, and you're gonna have the allowance on either side. Okay, good, now we're ready to sew, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, well, before you sew, now, I'm, all, I'm a believer. It's all about the prep work. It right. makes the sewing so much easier. Okay. So I'm always of, you know, pinning things together and making sure everything's ready to go. So what I've done is I put my, you can see my straight pins with colored tops. Yep. So I've pinned along the exterior line, mm -hmm. okay, and I've matched it up with the, you can see the pin marks through on the exterior line. Yep. Thank you. They're all down there. So that's the line that I'm going to sew along. And I've actually got one right here, and we're going to use Ikea's sewing machine mm -hmm. to do this. So I said to Antonio before the segment, so are you actually going to sew? He's like, I certainly I am. am. I so are am. you a big sewer? Do you do this often? I am a big sewer. You're a I'm big proud sewer. to say it. Good for you. I am proud you to say it. You sew me up a skirt? I'll do lots of stuff. I've okay, done that before. Okay, that'd be great. I think I admire people who can make their own clothing. I think that's so cool. I think a lot of people actually like doing it. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Now, whenever you're sewing, I always like to, you know, take my time. You put the feet down, and you always lower the needle into the, into the fabric, and that way it gives it a little bit more support. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to just push the pedal and let it go. So for those of us who don't sew, just think of Home Mac. Was it grade 7, grade 8, high school? Yes. Definitely. Remember that? Yes. And, um, you know, once you've, you're going to have to sew all the panels all the way on the sides. Yeah. And then you're going to have to sew the other side together. And where did my scissors go? You know what? These things are so handy. They have, like, a little cutting thing inside. There you are, mister. Oh, thank you. And you're going to cut this. And then what you're going to see is you're going to see basically the two seams that were sewn together. 
Okay, okay, so there you go. And you can see my outline. And actually, if you can just stand up my little headboard here, I'm gonna yep. show you my finished piece. So we're gonna put our little doghouse slip cover over top of it. <laughs> and you know what I love about this? Come on, this? it's kind of brilliant for a dog, a little a totally. dog head, isn't it? <laughs> I love this look because it really, it looks fitted and it looks a little more tailored than a traditional upholstered headboard. It absolutely does. I think this is a great little project. So we are gonna put instructions for all of this on our website yeah. that is cityline.ca.